Hey everyone, it's Jeff here and I'm here to bring you all of the news that we just received from the D23 panel, Disney Parks Experiences and Products hosted by Josh DeMauro. Now we have a lot of exciting news to get into, but before we get started, please make sure you hit that like button for me and make sure you're subscribed. Now without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started with what I believe was one of the biggest pieces of news everyone was waiting for. To kick off the panel, Jordan Fisher started off with performing Happily Ever After Live. Of course, Jordan has been teasing for the last few months on the potential return of the Magic Kingdom nighttime show, and that's exactly what we got. Tomorrow would then come out and make the announcement that Happily Ever After will be returning next year. An official date or time frame wasn't announced for the return. However, with March of 2023 being the conclusion of the 50th anniversary and Disney just adjusting Enchantment to make it more of a 50th show, I think we could see it return as early as April 1st. Now, staying over at the Magic Kingdom, we finally got the news we were looking for regarding Tron Light Cycle Run. Tomorrow said that testing continues on the coaster and even showed a video of him taking a test ride. He says there was a lot of setbacks testing, but made it official saying that the attraction will debut in the spring of 2023. No official announced date, but my guess is they're shooting for March to keep keep their word on it opening during the 50th. On now to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Now before the panel took place on Sunday, guests had a chance to preview Tiana's Bayou Adventure at the Wonderful World of Dreams Pavilion. There Disney had a display model of the rethemed attraction that will be coming to Disneyland and Walt Disney World late 2024. Unfortunately, the display model came as a little underwhelming compared to the first piece of concept art we first received for the retheme, as most notably, Mama Odie's tree was not included. Something that wasn't in the original concept art though was this water tower and if you look closely on there it says employee owned Tiana's Food established 1927. This ties in over at the Disneyland Park as an all new retail store will be opening in New Orleans Square on September 20th 2022 called Eudora's Cheek Boutique featuring Tiana's Gourmet Secrets which will be a shop that has accessories to create and serve masterful Orleans style cuisine and more more. During the panel to further discuss, Josh would bring out Carmen Smith and Charita Carter to discuss the retheming of the attraction. As mentioned, the story picks up after the final kiss in the film and in the story for the ride, it has Tiana as an entrepreneur as she will begin venturing into the bayou to find animal friends. She's also hosting a party for the people of New Orleans, but missing a special ingredient. New characters in the attraction will be introduced along with Tiana and Louis. The team also showed off how the attraction will appear during the day and nights and will have what they're calling true Bayou magic. Imagineer said that they want the attraction to be a love letter to New Orleans. Also members of the original film's cast will provide voiceover work for the ride. No further looks inside the attraction were shown or of any of the said animatronics. Also no announcement of when Splash will close. However, with Tron opening in the spring of 2023, could suggest Splash could close in in a few months prior, possibly being January. Now over to Disneyland in Disney California Adventure. Josh says they are getting started with Avengers Campus. He then brought out Kevin Feige on stage to announce more details on the future. First off, revealing new character technology on how characters like the Hulk will be joining the land in actual life size. Hulk will actually be joining Avengers Campus next week, but only be there for a limited time. Also with the announcement of the expansion, the multiverse was announced coming to Avengers Campus and that the land will receive a third attraction. The new attraction will let guests battle alongside other Avengers against every foe and new villain King Thanos. An opening date or name for the new attraction was not mentioned. Also coming to DCA, in its early phases, it was announced San Francisco from Big Hero 6 will be coming and replacing Pacific Wharf. The new land will be a place to meet Baymax and have shopping and places to eat. Over at Disneyland Park, tomorrow brought out John Favreau. They would then be joined by Mando and Grogu on stage. Josh would then announce guests will be able to cross paths with Mando in Disneyland starting this November. Unfortunately, this will continue to be just for Disneyland as there was no mention of this for Walt Disney World. 
Additionally, at Walt Disney World, another highly anticipated announcement was made as it's now official being that the Hatbox Ghost will be coming to Haunted Mansion at Magic Kingdom sometime next year. For Epcot, tomorrow did briefly mention the park turns 40 in a few weeks, but surprisingly would give no further details regarding festivities. He did say though that guests will get to meet Figment at Epcot starting sometime next year, that and during the 100 years of Wonder Celebration, Epcot will receive a new nighttime spectacular. Nothing was said though. What will happen with Harmonious during that time? Also in the wonderful world of Dreams Pavilion, on display is the Walt statue, which is coming to Dreamers Point. For Disney Cruise Line, just after the debut and grand voyage of the Disney Wish, a new ship is on the way. It will be adventure themed and feature Aladdin Jasmine in the Grand Hall. The ship's name was announced as the Disney Treasure. That and a new island destination in the Bahamas is coming called Lighthouse Point. The new island is said to be inspired by stories from the Bahamas and 90% of energy will come from solar energy. For the international parks, Josh shared a first look inside the Zootopia Land at Central Station coming to Shanghai Disneyland and Hong Kong Disneyland will get a new statue of Walt and Mickey next year for Disney 100. Tomorrow also discuss frozen themed lands coming to Paris, Hong Kong, and Tokyo Disneyland. Now for the future of the Disney parks, Josh said they are back on track with projects following the setbacks of 2020. Josh then announced Blue Sky, meaning what they are looking to and working on well ahead in the future. This part of the panel was kind of confusing. As for it, he was joined by directors Chris Buck and Jennifer Lee to discuss. During this, they first brought up a potential change of theming for Dino Land and Animal Kingdom. When thinking of bringing a new land to Dino Land, they said Zootopia came to mind as well as surprisingly Moana. They also did the same at Magic Kingdom, sort of brainstorming on what could be on the other side of Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and that it it's being explored, teasing Coco or Encanto themed lands. Josh then went on more about what if and teased a possible villain takeover of Magic Kingdom, a land or potentially a park. This was more so though another what could be past Big Thunder Mountain. So nothing official announced during this, but more so thinking out loud and sharing possible future plans they have in store. If you saw this, let me know what you thought of this in the comments down below. To end the panel tomorrow with then go about how the 100 years of wonder celebration would be coming to the parks next year. Each park around the world will showcase the celebration in their own way with food, merch, experiences, and more. Disneyland will be the heart of the celebration though and receive platinum decor. As part of the celebration, Magic Happens Parade will be returning. Also, new nighttime spectaculars will debut in both parks with a new world of color coming to DCA and a new nighttime spectacular coming to Disneyland that will feature a brand new song, It's Wondrous. But there you have it, all the news we just received for this year's D23 Parks panel. Some may say a little underwhelming compared to previous years, but I think we received all the news we were looking for, like with Tron, Happily Ever After returning, and more on Tiana's Bayou Adventure, even though we didn't get a look on the inside. I was a little surprised, no announced return for Fantasmic at Hollywood Studios, nor anything on Epcot's 40th, which is just weeks away. Let me know though, what was your favorite piece of news we got, and what you were hoping to hear that wasn't announced. If you enjoyed the video though, please make sure to hit that like button for me, and make sure you're subscribed. As this Wednesday, September 14th, I will be posting a video regarding all the news we just received on upcoming films and series that was announced over the weekend. That's all I have for you today, though, and I will see you all next time.